everybody. Dan Moran here with Concierge Diamonds. Uh, happy holidays to you. We're, we're now in full swing of the holiday season. Sorry for starting this uh, live session late, but stuck on the phone with, with clients and just a lot of stuff going on, so I apologize for that. Our topic for discussion today is, so I bought an engagement ring. Now what? How do I take care of it to make sure that it uh, stays looking beautiful forever? So the first thing you need to do when you get a new engagement ring is to make sure that it's insured. These things are expensive, and should it be damaged, lost, or stolen, you want to make sure that you're covered. Now, it's a pretty easy thing to add in, uh, a ring or a piece of jewelry to your insurance policy. So whoever does your homeowner's or your renter's insurance should be able to add it no problem. What they'll need is an appraisal showing a replacement value. Um, anything that I make comes with an appraisal, so that part's easy. But if you've gotten it elsewhere, go to an appraiser and have it appraised. Then you submit that appraiser, that appraisal excuse me, to the insurance company. They will typically charge about 2% of appraised value per year. So if your appraisal says $10,000, expect to pay $200 a year for insurance. That's pretty cheap for peace of mind. It's worth it so that if, unfortunately, one day your, your bride looks down at her finger and says, oh my gosh, my ring's gone, I don't know what happened, you're not out of luck on a, on a very expensive ring. There's one phrase that I want you to recommend uh, checking that it appears in your insurance policy. These magic words will keep you covered. That phrase is mysterious disappearance. Make sure that your ring is covered for mysterious disappearance. That means literally you can go to your insurance company and say, I don't know what happened. I had it, then I didn't have it. I don't know. It's a mystery how it disappeared. And you'll be covered. So step one, get insurance. Step two, keep your ring clean. How do we clean a diamond ring? Now there are lots of uh, potions and lotions you can buy for keeping jewelry clean. And there are ultrasonic cleaners and all kinds of fancy gadgets and gizmos you can buy online to help keep your jewelry clean. And they're all well and good. But there's an easy and free technique for keeping your, your jewelry clean at home that I'm going to teach you right now. Now, it's important to note this technique is for diamond, gold, platinum, sapphire jewelry only. Don't use this technique on pearls or on soft stones. Um, you can damage them that way. But for your durable, uh, hard stone jewelry, gold and platinum, you're so here's what you do. Take a small pot of water, uh, add a squirt of dish soap to it, whatever you have by the sink, Dawn, palm olive, whatever is you know, sitting next to your sink. Boil it. When it's good and rolling hard boil, take your jewelry, put it in a strainer. You don't want it on the bottom of the pot. You want it in the bubbles. And it goes into the boiling water for about five minutes. You can do a little lot longer. You can do a little less. It doesn't really matter. You're not going to damage the ring. The melting points of gold and platinum are much, much higher than the boiling point of water. So you have nothing to fear. You're not damaging your ring by doing this. But what is happening is that soap is getting into all the little nooks and crannies. The bubbling action is helping it get in there and release any grease or oil or gunk that's attached to your ring. Once you've let it sit for a little bit, pull it out, rinse it off. Make sure it's cool before you touch it. That's very important. Rinse it off. Take a toothbrush to it if you need to just to get in there. Rinse it in cool water. Dry it off, and you're good to go. Now, you can do that as often as you'd like. You will never damage the ring, and you can do it once a week for the rest of your life if you want to. Now, I love that technique because everybody has the supplies they need. It's free, it's cheap, it's easy. So that's keeping it clean. Now, different metals will wear differently. White gold will require occasional replating, redipping in rhodium to maintain its whiteness. Platinum will require frequent polishing to keep it nice and shiny and new if you want it to look shiny, as opposed to with the patina effect. Now, some people like the patina effect, and so you, if you want them, don't polish your platinum. Um, but there's maintenance that you have to do with your ring no matter what. I really recommend that at least once a year you bring your ring in to whoever made it for you. If you're one of my clients, bring it to me. Let me check it. I will do a polish for you. I will do a rhodium plating for you if it needs it. I'll go over stone by stone and make sure all the little stones are tight in their settings. Make sure your center stone is straight, tight, level, and not at risk of loosening up in your setting. If we need to adjust sizing, we can do that. If we need to adjust anything else about the ring, we can do that. So think of it like, like taking your car to have, to have the oil changed, right? You wouldn't buy an expensive car and not get it serviced. Don't buy an expensive diamond ring and not do basic maintenance. Otherwise, sooner or later, stones will loosen in their settings. The roundness of the ring will get warped as, as you've been wearing it. And your ring will be uh, more and more of a difficult case. So this is one of those instances where an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Do regular maintenance on your ring. It's very, very straightforward and simple. Call me ahead of time and uh, come on in to see me, and we'll go grab lunch, and by the time we're done, your ring is ready to go. It's worth doing it.
So that's my short and simple series of things to do once you have your engagement ring. Uh, ensure it, clean it, maintain it. If you do those three things, you're in good shape, and you will have a piece of jewelry that will look just as beautiful a thousand years from now as it looks now. How many things did you buy in your life can you say that about? Pretty neat. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Happy holidays to you all. If you have any questions, as usual, uh, reply on this, on this video. Call me, email me. You know where to find me. Happy holidays to you all, and I hope to talk with you soon. Thanks.